everybody, welcome back to D Diets. If you're new to the channel, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, please do so. You never know when I'm gonna put a video out, and that's the truth. So what am I having for lunch today? I, it's so hot, the bowl, I'll, I'll have to lift it with the napkin. Look at this. <laughs> that, my friends, is corn, pinto beans, zucchini with garlic, and squash and uh, tomatoes, fire roasted tomatoes, pinto beans, and two whole yams. I know, doesn't it sound awfully delicious? It is, it really is. Um, if you're new and you don't know what I'm doing, I'm doing a plant-based diet. It's been six weeks, I'm in my six weeks still, and it has been easy and for me, it's getting easier and easier and easier. I will say the first week I thought I was gonna be like, oh, I can't do this. But as the week progressed and the following second week kicked in, I was okay, I really was okay. And I did give up, just so that you know, oil, sugar, salt, unless it came in a can, I didn't get that crazy. Um, what else? Meat, all meat, eggs, all that stuff, fish, it's all gone, and dairy. No vegan cheeses, no vegan fake meat, none of it, none of it. So it's just basically plant-based. If it grows on a tree, a bush, a vine, under the ground, I'm eating it. So let me go in for my first bite. Did you hit, now, also, when you see this video, guys, you're gonna know that today is July 17th. My time is July 17th. You're in August already. And I was listening to the news today, and they were talking about the police, and they said the most strangest thing. They said, we want to do away with police officers giving like speeding tickets out. And we want to have a society that would pull people over and do that themselves. Because after all, they're not walking around with a gun. These are my dogs and they're crazy. Let me take a bite. What do you think of that? Leave that in the comments below. Mmm. 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 Mmm, that tastes so good. So I thought to myself, I was driving in my car and I had heard it again. And I thought, how crazy is that? How insanely crazy is that? Could you see yourself, honestly, seeing somebody recklessly driving and saying, rrr, 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 let me go after that person. I would never do that. I would, first of all, you don't know what that person's got in their car. And you're a perfect stranger. You don't you don't wear a uniform. They don't know who you are. And you're going up to their car, or you're stopping them, or you're blocking them in some way. They're going nuts. And I thought to myself, is that the most nuts? Hey, hey, this is real life, people. This is real life. I said to myself, is that the nuttiest thing you have ever heard in your entire life? I, I, I honestly do not know what people are thinking. I really don't know what people are thinking. I'd never pull somebody over. My luck, they would have a gun and they shoot me right then and there. Especially in this state, everybody carries a gun. Mmm. Even me. Mmm. Oh, that is so good. Mmm. Mmm. Why is it when I start a video, you all have to start? Isn't that the truth? If you have children, you'll know what I mean by that too. You know, the little ones, they'll do that. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, hot, heart. That was a little hot. Yeah, so that was the news that I heard today. I thought never in a million years, to your health, this is just plain old water. Yes, it is H2O. Oh, that's ever so refreshing. It's quite hot out today, but I had the air conditioning on in the house a little bit. For the animals, not even for me, for the animals. So yeah, I thought that was a bit controversial. I really did. You know, I don't know who wants to be a police officer anymore. I'd be scared to death, scared to death. Now I understand that poor Mr. Floyd. Oh my goodness, that was terrible. But not every police officer is like that. And, and they really aren't. And they're really not like that. They have families just like all of us. They have children just like all of us. They're grandparents just like all of us. So to me, to take a whole group of people, could you imagine just taking a whole group of people and saying, you're horrible? 
You're horrible. I can't even imagine doing anything like that. I cannot imagine doing anything like that. And yet, there's a part of our society that is. Who in the world is defunding the police? Who would do... Oh, honestly, New York City's the murder... The Now, I can talk about New York, my friends, because I am a native New Yorker. Even though I live in Pennsylvania, I'm a native New Yorker. Who in the world would want to defund the police department? Who? The murder rate is up so high over there. And you know what I say? Defund it all. Defund it all. Absolutely. All the police officers, stay home. Stay home for a week. It won't even take a week before people will be begging you to come back. Mm -mm. That is absolutely nuts to me. And you know who I feel sorry for? The poor people. I'm one of those poor people. I'm not a wealthy person. I don't live in a wealthy area. Could you imagine? You're on your own. You're on your own. And don't ever think friends are coming that quickly or neighbors. If there's something that breaks out, they're, they're, they're going to protect their own stuff. It's the truth. Hmm. Hmm. I want you to know I'm eating this meal at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. This is my breakfast. Yeah. I stopped eating yesterday at 6 o'clock last night. Wasn't hungry until just now. So I said, I'll eat now. But I was just shocked by that. Just shocked by that. I thought, oh my goodness. And they're talking about it and these people are rioting all over the place. They're taking over towns in Portland. You know, did you see the condition of that town that these so-called peace people took over? The t it was a disgrace. It was a disgrace. Ugh, robbing people blind, burning down buildings. Yeah, you know, that does say a lot, doesn't it? The ad is just crazy. I feel sorry for the people that live there, the business owners that had their businesses there. And you know what I heard some of these vigilantes, because that's what they are. They have insurance. Go screw yourself. They have insurance. Terrible. Disgraceful. Mm. You work your whole life. You work hard your whole entire life to get a few bucks together. And in one night, <clears throat> somebody will destroy it all on you. Mm -hmm. I can't bite my tongue. I cannot bite my tongue when I see stuff like that. What is the point? Burning down your own cities. Isn't that fabulous? You know, you notice how they don't go to the very rich areas in like California? You know why that is? They all have their own security. And these are the same people that are going, burn it down, burn it down. Oh, I see the celebrities. Burn it down, burn it down. They wouldn't like it if they burned it in Calabasas, would they? They wouldn't like it if they were coming to your town and burning it down and like, I don't know, the high end of LA or the Hollywood Hills. Hmm? You wouldn't like it then. These people have to live there. It's terrible. Hmm. Hmm. It's good. I can't help it. I have to call. I have to say a spade a spade. I don't care. Now everybody's talking about, you know, the masks are like mandatory now everywhere. They're everywhere. They're mandatory, which I get. Okay. I get it. But we are Americans after all. So. When can we take them off? Will we be able to take them off when they get the vaccine? How many of you are going to take the vaccine? You can leave that in the comment section below. I'll be honest with you. I won't take it. Mm -mm. I'll be afraid. I never take vaccines. I've never taken a flu shot. I never taken an ammonia shot. I never take any of them. Because I got sick on the flu shot once. And I mean, I get it. They're, pu they're pushing some of that virus into you. And then I had a reaction to it. But I also know that even with a flu shot, you have to get it every year and it doesn't work for everybody. They say half works, half doesn't. You know, my luck, I'll be the half that doesn't. So I don't get it. But the um, vaccine, they're rushing that thing through. And that scares, I think that scares me more because I don't know if it was Dr. Fauci that said it 
One of them did, and they say vaccines take a long time to perfect. And all of a sudden now, we're going to perfect a vaccine in like eight months? I don't know. I don't think I'll be standing on that line going, sure, shoot me up, shoot me up, <laughs> vaccine. I don't think so. Mm -mm. Mm. Again, it's like I've never made a dent in this bowl. But I had to discuss some of these issues with all of you guys. I figured you've seen me cook some of this stuff because I batch the cooking. I don't I don't cook every day. I don't have to. I have Tupperware containers and glass containers in my refrigerator. I take out what I know I can eat. I throw it in the microwave and I eat it. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Hello. Mm. Mm. That tastes like sugar. Oh, beautiful. Went to the Dollar, uh, Dollar General. I went out to um, check body, Buddy's post office box. That's what I do every couple, every 10 days, every two weeks, I'll go and check. And um, then I stopped at the Dollar General. I needed to get a card. I have to go to a reveal a, a girlfriend of ours is having a baby. Oh, yes, isn't that nice? And my daughter is the keeper of the secret. And the reveal party is this Sunday. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So I wanted to get a card. And uh, what do you get? What do you get for a reveal party? I'm going to put a check in it. That's all I can do. I, I, I don't know what you do. I also know what she's having. So then I had to go around thinking, because she, my, my daughter told Danielle, remember the wedding I went to? It was spectacular, that beautiful, well, it's hot. Isn't that nice? She's having a baby. And um, my daughter told Danielle, oh, my mother knows I told her. So now I'm going to this reveal party and everybody's supposed to wear what they wish. You know, wear pink or wear blue. I'm wearing both. I'm wearing both. I have that paisley shirt. You know, the one I've worn. It's got pink and blue in it. So I figured I can get away with that and wear that. Mmm. Mmm. You know, it's very exciting to eat like this. It really is because, my, my goodness, you feel so good. You feel so good after a couple of weeks, man. You have energy and nothing else has changed. Nothing. I'm still the same person, the same stress, the same issues in my life. The only thing that's changed is what I eat. And that is amazing because I got energy. Energy. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Tomorrow, Doug and I are going to the Amish farm. We're going to travel a little bit of a distance tomorrow. I think it's like about 40 minutes from our house. But the people are there. It's ever so nice. So we're going to go there and pick up a ton of vegetables. Because, of course, that we need them. So we're going to get vegetables. Mmm. 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 The pinto beans are so creamy and delicious. They're so good. Mmm. Mmm. Anyway, I don't want to keep the video long. I just want to stop in, have a little lunch with you, slash breakfast, because it's it's my breakfast, but it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It's later than 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Until I see you all, my friends, be kind to one another, the heart, that's truly all that matters. And I know, I'll see you soon. Now, leave it in the comment section below. What do you think of some of these issues I brought up today? Oh, my goodness. I'll talk to you soon. Mwah!